Hello everyone, welcome back to another informative video. In this video we are going to take a look at another PHEC temperature monitor right for your tank with your nutrient solution and the brand that we are going to look at today is the Blue Lab Guardian monitor as you can see right here. So what we are going to do now is we are going to calibrate this blue lab guardian monitor right so let us go over here i've already gone through there are one two three guardian blue lab guardian monitors here for three different tanks right we have three different tanks here and three different monitors so they are already, they are all calibrated but i'm just going to go over the process just just so that you can know how to calibrate your blue lab guardian monitor now the blue lab guardian monitor actually has as you can see it has conductivity right and it has temperature and it has pH right those are the readings that that, that those are the parameters that this monitor will, will, will monitor basically so in order to calibrate this this meter they basically send two calibration solution one is ph4 right and one is ph7 so when you basically pull these out of the box especially the ph probe it basically comes with storage solution on it so you'll have to just you know gently wash it off in water and then flush off any excess water that is on the probe right so what you want to do now is you want to use you want you want to use ph7 first so you are going to put the two probes in into the ph7 let me show you how to like this right and when you do that you are basically going to go down to the monitor let me show you. so when you come down to the monitor what you are going to do now is with the two probes inside pH 7 you are going to hold on to the pH call button for 3 seconds until it says pH and call you let go and it's going to count 4 zeros and then you can see the LED light flashing at pH 7 right there so when the 4 zero comes on you wait a bit the LED light at this pH 7 is still flashing then you see pH 7 coming up and then the LED light on pH 7 right there it stops blinking so you know that pH 7 is calibrated right then you be, then you are going to basically do the same step for pH 4 like this so when you are going to change the, the, the solution like you're taking the probe from taking out the probe from pH 7 to 4 ensure that you wash off the probe in, in water right wash off the probe in water like that Right. Now we are going to put it into pH 4 now. So now I have both probes in, in, in pH 4. I'm going to go down by the monitor and do the same thing. Right? Press on press on all. When you see pH and call you let go. And it's going to start calibrating. As you can see the, the zeros flashing. Right? Okay. and as you can see both lights on the side there seven and four they have, they have stopped blink, blinking so that means both pH seven and four they are calibrated right and and basically that's it and if you realize that I'm, I use put the two probes in the solution this is what blue lab recommends this white probe here is the conductivity and the temperature probe and this one with the black top is the pH probe so they recommend that you should use put both probes together in the solution to get a uh, proper accuracy in the calibration so always remember to use both probes so that is it and um, 
I'll just put back the probes into into the into the into the tank. No. Alright. I'll just put it right there. I'll just put them back. Alright. You can see. It's reading. Now just a few more tips on the on the monitor itself. In order to you can you can adjust the brightness of these numbers. So you just hold down on the the, the, the the this sign here or this light image here. Just hold down on it and you can press down as you can see. It's getting dim, right? Or you can press up as you can see it's getting brighter, right? right and of course this is an alarm button so what you can do is when you have set your different parameters to the levels that you want you can set an alarm so that if it goes out of range or down or up then you it will it will it will give you an alarm to notify you that the nutrient solution needs to, to be um calibrated right so that's it that's basically how oh, the guardian monitor is calibrated